Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Monday, May the 14th, and welcome to our video commentary. Today, we're going to remember May 14th, 1787. That's 231 years ago. This was the day that would change the United States forever. Uh, it was on this day that the delegates began to attend the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia, or the convention that it would eventually become the Constitutional Convention. As all of you know from your history, the United States, or the colonies, uh, signed uh, their Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, and there was a war. It ended in 1783, and at the time, the colonies sort of uh, got together through something called the Articles of Confederation. The Articles of Confederation turned out to be extremely complicated because there was no way of getting business done between the states. For example, if, you, if somebody in Massachusetts wanted to sell something to, let's say, somebody in Georgia, well, they had to go through a bunch of states, but there were no common rules uh, as far as commerce, as far as trade. So the delegates began to get together on this day, May 14, 1787. Actually, they didn't, they didn't all get there until May 25th. That's when the meetings actually start. And the original idea was to amend or to change or to make the Articles of Confederation more practical and more up-to-date. Well, they ended up scrapping the Articles and began writing uh, the, the Constitution that we know today. And they spent that whole summer uh, working in that. It was at times very contentious. At times, uh, you know, there were some nasty things said back and forth. At times, some states uh, threatened to walk out. But by September, on the 17th of September, the final product was done. It was signed uh, by the delegates, and it was sent to the, to the states for ratification. They all came back uh, by 1789. And then they added uh, what we now call the Bill of Rights, which is, of course, the first 10 amendments uh, to the U.S. Constitution and freedom of speech, uh, the right to have a gun, and so on and so on, that uh, we often discuss in our daily news. So it all began today, May 14, 1787. It went on to September when the final draft of the Constitution was signed. Uh, eventually, President Washington took the oath of office in April of 1789, or roughly two years after these men began to, uh, to arrive in Philadelphia. There is a wonderful book, which I would recommend to everybody. I picked up a copy of this book back in, seven, in 1987 on what, what at the time was the 200th anniversary of the Constitution. And the, the name of the book is Miracle in Philadelphia. Just Google it, Miracle in Philadelphia. And it's just an absolutely great book. It, it details almost on a newspaper basis, kind of like daily accounts of what was going on in those meetings. Now, remember, it gets pretty warm in Philadelphia in the summer, pretty humid, pretty warm. And those guys didn't have air conditioning back then. So it must have been, it must have been a very difficult time. But they got it done. They got it done. And it all began on this day, May 14th, 1787. So as I like to say, this was the date that would change the United States forever. And we've been operating under that Constitution that was signed uh, in September. It'll be 231 years this 19, or this 2018 that that document was signed. I think it may be. I don't know this for a fact. But it has to be one of the longest running constitutions in world history, the U.S. Constitution. Again, check out that book, Miracle in Philadelphia. I am going to put it on Facebook uh, later today. You can get it in my blog. You can also get it on my Twitter, where I have a copy of that book. Have a wonderful day, everybody. May 14th, we remember the delegates that started arriving in Philadelphia. Have a wonderful day. We have all of these uh, videos over on YouTube. We have them on Twitter, and we have them on my blog. Bye-bye, everybody.